Hello and welcome to Pregnancy in Fall. Today we are going to discuss 26 worries for a new parent can have in the early days or early months of your newborn baby. So watch this video to find out the things that are actually normal but you get worried about it. Being a parent is one of the most rewarding job but it can also be one of the most difficult. Many new parents worry that they don't know what to do. However, there are practical ways to deal with the challenges of being a new pod so you can enjoy your baby more. Common Worries and Fear It is normal to feel worried or anxious when you are caring for a new baby. Here are some common worries with tips on how to manage them. Number 1. Worried the baby will die while they are asleep. Many mother fear their baby will choke, roll over, or experience sudden unexpected death in infants called SIDS. SIDS is very rare in Australia, although, of course, it does occur. To minimize the risk, place your baby on the back to sleep. Don't snook. Make sure the head is uncovered and don't let them get too hot. The safest place for them to sleep is in a cot in a room with you for the first 6 to 12 months. Worried you do not love your baby. It is common both for mothers and fathers to feel they have not bonded properly with their baby. It can take days, weeks or months until you feel close with your baby. You will likely feel a mix of emotions. If you feel very low and disconnected from your baby for a long period of time, talk to a health professional. Worried you will drop the baby. Baby proof the house to prevent tripling of falling. Check there are no snags or coppers of rugs or rugs. Keep object away from steps and take your time when walking around the baby. Why the baby is not normal. Parents often compare their baby's development with that of other babies, but children develop at their own pace and they reach milestones at different times. About 10 to 15 percent of child experience a developmental decay of some sort before they are age 3. Get your baby's developmental routinely checked using the checkup sections in their child health record. Trust your instincts and if you are worried, talk to your healthcare professional. Worried the baby is crying too much. It is normal for newborn babies to cry a lot. Crying increases at 2 to 3 weeks and peaks by 6 to 8 weeks. It is more common in the late afternoon and early evening. If the crying sounds different or if you are worried, check with your doctor. Worried the baby is sleeping too much. Some babies sleep most of the time, other wake a lot. For the first few weeks, your baby should be having 8 to 12 feeds in 24 hours. As long as your baby has plenty of wet nappies and mustard color poo, there is unlikely to be a problem. Worried about money. Many parents worry that they will not be able to provide financially for their baby. It is important to start planning before the birth and to budget once the baby is born. You may also be entitled to government assistance, including parental leave, pay, family tax benefits, child care benefits and a parenting payment. For more information, visit the website of Australia Services. Weight Gain is my baby gaining enough weight? This is every parent's number one concern for obvious reasons. Unlike bottle feeding moms, breastfeeding moms can't measure the amount of milk the baby is drink. Frequent feeding will usually ensure that baby is getting enough to eat, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee adequate intake. Poop colors. The concern that sparks countless calls to the doctor is poop color. Poop comes in all colors and textures. In the beginning, your baby's poop will be black due to meconium, green, transitional stools comes next followed by yellow or brown, depending on how your baby is fed. The only color you need to be alarmed about are black, red or white. Cradle cap. You might notice some crusty flax or oily patches of skin on your baby's scallop. This is mostly likely cradle cap, also but less commonly called seborrheic dermatitis, which is the harmless and common skin conditions among little ones. In fact, records indicate that 70% of infants are affected with cradle cap by the time they are 12 weeks old. Bow leg. It is actually quite common for a newborn baby's leg to be bowed out and their feet to be turned in. If you think about the somewhat cramped environment they have been in for the past four 
few months it's not really a surprise between 6 and 18 months your baby's leg and feet will likely straighten out particularly after your baby begins standing creeping and walking in ground nails this is a bit misleading because newborn's toes frequently overlap and the nails only look in ground but they really aren't baby nails are so soft and malleable and they can curve in at the edges so Unless the toe is red or swollen, they are actually just fine. Baby acne According to the American Academy of Dermatology, about 20% of newborn have a type of acne called neonatal acne or neonatal cephalic pustulosis. Actually shows up at about 2 weeks of age and is nothing to worry about. Dirty diapers and lots of them. They say newborn babies go through an average of 10 diapers per day. That's a lot of diapers. This won't always be the case. But for new parents, much of your day will be spent standing at the changing table. I'm afraid sneezing it's funny but it's common for newborns to sneeze a lot which shouldn't be mistaken for an oncoming cold or allergies in fact infants are too young for environmental allergies rather babies are recently normal to environmental situations and just clearing their little nasal passage to keep air moving through it's a defense mechanism to clear out the nose Split up and vomit. The difference between split up and vomit is frequently not forcefulness. Split up can absolutely fly across the room, but vomiting isn't all about frequency. If your baby is vomiting with a gastrointestinal virus, she says, it will come every 30 to 45 minutes regardless of feeding. Split up, on the other hand, is usually related to feeding. Random jerky moments. Baby's random jerky and spastic limp flailing may be a bit jarring to watch at first, but just keep in mind it's all part of the course. In those first few months, baby will be dealing with a lot of developmental changes, one of which includes honing their startle reflex. Oatly shaped head. Giving birth is a tough job, plain and simple. But remember, it's not just you doing all the work done there. Baby's working overtime to get down that birth canal and after that journey, it's no wonder they come out all purple and swollen looking. Since baby's little head is soft and malleable in the beginning, squeezing past your pelvic bone can definitely cause some flattening to occur. It is doesn't happen during delivery. Baby could also get some flat spot later on from lying on their back too much. If you notice this, try holding baby in your arm more or as Levine suggests, increase tummy time when babies awake and alternate where you place the toys so they don't favor only one side. Swollen genitals. There's no doubt a case way to say this if you have just given birth to a newborn baby boy you may notice this little men parts are significantly large than you had probably expect specifically the test so baby can be affected by hormone exposure in your belly just before birth or there could be extra fluid build up in the sac around his testicles but don't worry he will flush it out with his pee in a few days blood in the diaper spotting even the tiniest trace of blood in baby's diaper is enough to freak out any new parent but the truth is it's not always cause for alarm there are many reasons why it may be happening all of which are temporary if you have just had a baby girl she may be experiencing some extra side effects from being exposed to your hormones in utero crossed eyes in the beginning a slight case of wonk eye in baby is expected baby still trying to sort out all of their newfound abilities including their sense of sight and it can take some time to gain a little muscle control and hone those focusing techniques pulsing soft spots everyone knows that babies have soft spots fontanel but most people aren't aware that they actually pulse when you think about it makes sense this girl hasn't fused together yet and you are seeing a direct glance of their pulsating heartbeat babies have soft spot on their head called the fontanel the fontanel is tougher than you think while you should always take care of your baby's head you can hurt them by touching stroking the fontanel blood in vomit 
Blood is an indication that something is not right, but it's always not a reason to get worried up. Newborns sometimes throw up blood that is in the system from delivery, so if it is happens close to your post delivery, then more often than not, it's normal. Luscious body hair. Babies are unusually born with minimal hair, but every now and then you see a baby come out with more hair than your husband a few covering their body is known as lanugo or peach fuzz and will disappear slowly after birth if it's on their heads prepare for some entertaining photographs strange noises babies make weird noises it is simple as that bobs fuzz coos a taunting language hiccups that turn into bob we have heard it all don't be alarmed when your babies start making strange noises especially when they are starting to develop their language skills Hiccups and more hiccups. Speaking of strange noises, babies hiccups a lot. The simple theory for this is that their breathing and swallowing having found a good harmony yet so they hiccup often. They will outgrow it as they get older. Irregular breathing habits. While it's alarming to think of your baby as having irregular breathing habits is usually normal. They are still learning how to regulate all of their involuntary muscle movements, including breathing, small cut or scrap. One of most alarming things as a new mother is seeing your baby covered in small cuts or scraps. How did they get there? Babies are born with fingernails and sometimes they are quite long. It's easy for them to scratch themselves to so protect them with a cozy pot of scratch mitten until their reflexes calm down. I hope I have explained all the 26 worries that are actually normal. So, if you find this video useful, then like it, share it and also subscribe my channel and you can give your precious opinion via comments. Thank you.